Good morning everyone. Um, I've decided that I'm going to teach you all how to try and sharpen a chisel. Um, so the question is why? Uh, and I suppose the, the first thing is that as if you're going to be working with wood then you're going to, you're going to have to have a very, a very sharp chisel. Um, I come from a carpentry background and um, uh, when when your housing hinges out and you're you're trying to sort of basically uh, just just take some timber off and you want to you want to get a nice smooth edge then your chisel chisel is is, is is the only thing that you can do with. Um, but at the same at the same point, the, the way you the way you sharpen the chisel has got to be it's got to be portable. Um, it's no, it's no need to be, for it to be super sharp. I see a lot of stuff on the internet at the moment, sort of saying, "I, you know, do this, do that, and you know, get this this amazing edge." The, the edge has just got to be, you know, reasonably reasonably sharp. It doesn't have to be super sharp, um, and and ultimately, it's got to be it's got to be a fast method because as a carpenter, you, you you don't get paid for sharpening a chisel. You get paid for doing a job. So. It's got to be, it's got to be sort of, you know, sharp enough, but not too sharp. Right. Um, what are you going to need? Well, first thing, you're going to need a blunt chisel. So I don't do that much carpentry these days. So I use my chisels and I abuse them, uh, and then they use, they lose their edge quite quickly. Um, the key to sharpening something is is the sharpening stone. So. For me, as a carpenter, I am used to keeping my stones in little wooden boxes. This is the one that I've had since I'm about 15 or 16, I think 16. And as you can see, it's got little hinges and it you know, protects it. I can chuck it in my tool bag and then when I need to sharpen a chisel on the fly, then there it is, it's out there. Um, more recently, I, I found, went to my mum's house and I found an old chisel, an old um, sharpening stone. This one is a Norton. A Norton um, India stone and this is what everybody was using 20 or 30 years ago as a, a carpenter. Um, on this box I've made myself you can see that it's got little timber guides at the end and what that enables you to do is use the full length of the stone. So on my, my first one that I had, that was not the case, and I, I sort of moaned about it for the rest of for the rest of eternity so I gave my one opportunity to to to, uh, <laughs> to make things good. So anyway, you need a good stone, and that that's pretty much it. You can you can you can sharpen any chisel with with this this one item. But if you so to make so with the with the stone, there's two there's, there's two there's two um, there's two aggregates. There's there's fine on top, which is the red which is the red side, or it's, it's fine, and then underneath it there's a coarse side, which which we'll get back to, but that enables you to get a grinding angle onto it. So, if you're in, if you're, if you're fortunate enough to have a bench that I am going to be showing you how to do that today on the bench, then I'm going to be getting my grinding angle on with a bench with a bench grinder. Again, this is this is this is uh, optional, and it's it's just. It's not something you take around on site with you. Though. Let's put it that way. So, but it, but, but it, it, it's quicker, and I'm going to do it today because it, because it gets a nice edge for the for the grinding angle. Um, uh, another thing that might come in handy is a vice. But again, as a carpenter, you just don't want to be using a vice for fucking anything. Oh, oh, shit. Uh, you don't want to be using uh, you don't want to be using advice for anything. You want to be used to totally independent of, of whatever. So so the sharpening stone you can just pop it on the ground and just put it up against something and then you can grind away. Um, I've also so as I say a lot of a lot of stuff on the internet goes on about how sharp does it need to be, right? And so some of the old boys used to waffle on about strops. So I have made a strop. This didn't cost anything. It's a little bit of timber with a little bit of leather bound over it and nailed into the edges. Uh, it, <laughs> I basically took my chisel wrap and I took the end off and I've used that just to see, see if it worked. And and I must I must admit it does make them sharper. 
Um, but again, it's, not, it's nothing that I'd be taking out on site with me. I'd be just getting a good edge and, and using that. So it's all depending on the wood and, and how much strength you really need. So personally, for, for pine and for, for normal timber, then just, just, you don't need this. But if you're working on something really hard and something with an awkward grain, then I suppose it would be beneficial, but you can still probably get away with it. But it is nice to get a really sharp edge. Anyway, we'll go, we'll, I'll talk about that later. Uh, yeah, and then for, for guides and for, for guiding your angle, I've never used a guide. And I've never seen anyone use one. The only time I've ever seen anyone use one is on, bloody, on the internet or whatever. So, so you just learn to get it at the right angle and there you go. Right, so what's the process? Process is you need to get a grinding angle on, which is the, which is the prime, which is the, the, the first angle. I don't know if you're going to get that, but it's the primary angle. And it's the angle that goes all the way in one edge like that. I'm going to do that circa 25 mil. So it doesn't, it doesn't have to be, it can be lower, it can be, it can be steeper, it can be anything you want. I used to prefer them a little bit shallower because you could get a, a, a narrower edge and then you would get less pushback when you hammer, hammer the chisel when you're doing a vertical edge in there. Um, but then... They don't, they, the edges don't last as long, so it, it's all down to your own personal preference, but circa 25 degrees. Then you have to put a sharpening edge on, which is, a, is circa, again, 30 degrees, and that's just the final edge of the chisel, and that's where the strength, that's where, they, that's where the, the real sharpness comes from. Um, right, so I'm going to set, set everything up, um, and then um, back in a minute. Okay, right, I'm back. So... This chisel, as I was explaining to you earlier, is that because I really abuse my chisels, then I, I really sort of get a lot of nicks and a lot of chunks taken out of the out of the edge. So if you do that, then you could spend a long time sort of going back and forwards on on this and trying to grind it out. But to be honest, once you once you've taken like a big one mil chunk out or something like that, you, you have to take it back to the grinding wheel. Um, to do that, get your grinding wheel, get a little pot of water because this is not the ideal tool for for doing chisels it should be a little bit a bit of a slower wheel and and, and by this if you if you put too much pressure on and keep it on too long then you you'll blue the tip of your chisel and then that that, that will ruin the metal and you'll have to grind that blue grind the blue out uh, to get it back to where it should be um, but you can you can prevent that or try and prevent that by just every time you you're getting it gets a little bit hot then pop it in the water and it's like that and then um, and then you'll, you'll prevent that once you've got the grinding angle to as you want it nice and square and at the sort of 25 25 degrees then you can sort of pack that in and then we'll we'll get onto onto the actual onto the actual stone so bear with me because this you might start vibrating but, but we'll, we'll see really see the edge but basically what I've done is I've taken all the chunks out so I've got a moderately flat edge there's quite a quite a heavy burr on the other side but don't worry about that at the time so now that we've got that and we're happy with the grind angle let's get some oil top top of your, your oil stand with a bit of oil like so and then just I am going to use the back of my the back of the chisel just to just to to look like smooth out the oil a little bit, get the, the whole surface fully covered. Get a bit of a rag. I don't want to get all that. Right. So now, now this is where so I put it on a bench hook so it gives me something to push against because the, the most of the I'm going to get my fingers on it like this. Most of the force is just going forwards and back. 
and that's all you're trying to do use the whole stone forwards and back trying to keep it on the 30 degree angle that we talked about so let's go takes a little bit of practice not too much pressure but enough pressure and it's, it, it depends how fast you want to sharpen your chisel if you're like in a super hurry then you just like throw a load of pressure on and, and then go back and forward feel it cutting let's have a quick look get the rag again and then that shows yeah I'm quite I'm happy with that it's a first cut so what that is it's got that original burr off but it's also showing a nice edge all the way along so it's got a nice clean edge no nicks in it it's looking pretty square so I will give that a few more runs on the uh, on the stand And you just change the pressure with your fingers along the blade. If you if you if you're running out, if you're if you're if you're sharpening one side more than the other, then just just put a bit of pressure on the other side. Okay. Let's have a look at that. Right. So. So then there you go. I'm happy with that. So now I'm going to get the other side, and I'm going to go flat side down. And this is about trying to get the burr off. So you just run that back and forwards. You don't have to be too, you don't have to be too careful with that. Right, take that off. See if you've got burr off. Just run it. Just turn it the other way now. Back onto the sharpening edge. Just be careful. Just lightly, a few runs, and then back and forwards. Back onto the flat. Back onto the sharpening angle, just a couple. And all you're trying to do is just get the burr off. Okay. So then, what I'll do is theoretically that should be pretty much it. So you can feel that. Did it shave? So it's, it's just about taking hairs off my hand, which uh, apparently the internet says that's good. Right. So now remember, I've not used. I've not used a strop, I've not used anything. All I've done is just use the, this stone. So once you've got your grand, grinding angle on, if, you, if your, ch your chisel is in good order, then you can just touch it up with this, this grinding stone uh, and get like a razor sharp edge every, every time. So it should take no time at all. And this is all you really need on site. Um, for completeness, <laughs> what I would do is I'll show you, um, I'll use a strop in, in the vise. So I don't know if you can, you know, I just moved the camera. Hold on. Ooh. Let's just get the camera. Let's have a little look. Get it steady. Ta da! Right, okay. So, and this is why I don't really think you'd want to use it on, on site. But I'll just pop that in the vise. And then you just get it and just go backwards. And the old fellas, all the old fellas on site, you say, oh yeah, strop, get perfect angle, perfect, perfect, perfect. So let's have a little look. Look at that. I think it is slightly sharper. Let's have another little look. Careful. For you people who don't have hairy arms, you can't really check. But yeah, he's taking hairs off. So there you go. And that, that is how you sharpen a chisel. So, let's get it back. So, um, Again, it's a piece of cake to sharpen a chisel. Um, doesn't, it's not that complicated. You just need an oil stone and a few other bits and pieces that I've shown you. If you want to take it to the next level and get these super sharp, short, super sharp chisels, then you can. 
whether you need that or not is 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 down to down to yourself. Um, but just just remember, you you don't get paid for sure. You get paid for finishing the job. Right. Okay. That's enough for me. Uh, I'm sure there'll be other videos in the future. Right. Thanks very much.